So you're thinking about getting your Alaska real estate license, but you just don't know where to start. And there's a ton of information on the internet. So in this video, I'm going to break down all that information and put it into five easy steps for you to follow so you can get licensed this year. Let's dive right into the video. My name is Chris with the Empire Real Estate YouTube channel. On this channel, we teach you real estate, personal finance, and how to build your real estate empire through entrepreneurship. Before we get started, I want to offer you our free how to get licensed and start your real estate career guide. If you want to get your copy, there's a link down in the description below where you can get it. I hope you enjoy it. Getting your real estate license can be super exciting. There are so many opportunities to sell all kinds of different property and you can build a really great business that offers you a income without a glass ceiling. It offers you flexibility of being your own boss and being able to make your own schedule. So the very first thing I'm going to dive into is the pre-license education requirements. In Alaska, you're required to do 40 hours of state approved pre-license education classes. And yes, I know 40 hours sounds like a lot. It's a lot of time in a classroom, but you got to keep in mind, the more you can learn in the time that you spend in that classroom will help you when you're out in the real estate field doing deals. So it's not a bad thing. And on top of that, there's super convenient options that can help you balance this schedule with your nine to five job or whatever you're doing in your other obligations. So there are real estate schools that you can do online that make it super convenient and super flexible to get your license. So I would recommend looking at Calibri Real Estate School. They offer these classes online and down in the description below, you'll find a link with different discounts and sales. It's an affiliate link and we definitely recommend you check them out. So once you bang out your 40 hours of pre-licensed education classes that's approved by the state, make sure you get classes that are approved by the state because if you don't, it's not gonna count and you're gonna waste a lot of time. The second thing is to study. Now, I know this sounds like common sense, but the real estate exam has quite the high failure rate. And to avoid this, I wanna give you some basic tips to help you pass the test on the first try. The first thing I would do is I would set the expectation of how long you're going to study. Now, I would suggest studying about two weeks after you complete your real estate pre-license education. So once you get done with your pre-license education classes and you get three or 40 hours, then what I would suggest is taking two weeks after that to really buckle down and study the material that you learned during your pre-license education classes. Now, I would suggest time blocking two hours a day, five days a week to really sit down, study, and learn as much as possible. Now, there are some ways to make this more interactive and more fun, and I would highly suggest looking at things like flashcards, which can be had usually for under $50, or if you don't wanna spend any money, you can basically make them yourselves by taking information out of your textbooks and taking information out of your courses and then creating your own flashcards. So you don't have to spend a ton of money to get started with this, but flashcards can definitely make things more interactive, especially if you have a study partner or someone that's in your real estate courses or someone that you can connect with to help you study. If you can't find a real estate study buddy or the textbooks themselves are just way too boring, then I would suggest looking at different tools that are available. Back when I did my exam, I found the textbooks way too boring and I was the only one that I knew that was really going through this process and getting their real estate license. I got licensed back when I was 22 years old and I just had nobody to study with. So I had to look for different options and I came across something called Prep Agent. Prep Agent is a test-like simulation tool that will take you through test-like simulations and help you study. And the cool part about it, one thing I really loved is it will tell you what questions you're getting wrong, what questions you're getting right, and it breaks the test up into different sections so you know exactly which sections you're, you're good at and you don't need to really focus on anymore and what sections you need to work on. Another great tool is CompuCram. They're just like Prep Agent, it's a different tool, but what they do is they'll test you be, as soon as you sign up, you'll see exactly where you stand, and then they'll pinpoint the areas that you need to double down on focus and study more in so you have a higher chance of success. Both of these tools are great. Um, if you have a little bit of money to invest into them, they're really not too expensive. If you want to check them out, there is an affiliate link down below for each one, but they definitely are a great way to increase your odds of passing and make studying a lot more interesting and fun. The next step is scheduling and passing your exam. 
So you're gonna to wanna to call the testing center and you're gonna to wanna to give them at least 24 hours notice to make sure that they can get you into the testing center. And on test day, you're gonna to wanna to bring two basic forms of identification and a basic non-scientific calculator for the math portion of the exam. The good news is this test is all multiple choice. So it's all multiple choice. That does make it a little bit easier. It does have a high failure rate, but you need to get a 75% score or higher to be able to pass this exam. After you sit down and take your exam, you're gonna find out right away if you passed or failed. There's no anticipation, you don't have to wait. As soon as you walk out of the testing center, you're gonna know your, your paper's gonna get graded and you're gonna find out right away if you got a passing score or a failing score and you have to come back and retake the test. If you did pass the exam, it's time to celebrate and be excited about your accomplishment. Not that many people pass the exam, and the fact that you did the first try is a big accomplishment. So pat yourself on the back and get ready for the next step, which is completing your background check and your license application. So in Alaska, you're going to have to get a background check, fingerprinting, and all those things to make sure that you're eligible to get your real estate license in the state of Alaska. Essentially, they're looking for things that would prevent you from getting your real estate license in Alaska. Some of those things can include felonies. And once you have this done, you're gonna get your past background check, your completed pre-licensed education class certificate, and your past exam. You're gonna package it up, and then you're gonna submit your license application. Once you submit your license application, you're gonna to have to wait a couple weeks to hear back from the state. In the meantime, I would suggest you start interviewing with sponsoring brokers. So as a real estate salesperson with a real estate license, you have to hang your license with a sponsoring broker. Think of big names like Remax, KW, Coldwell Banker, Real Brokerage, EXP Realty. These are all brokerages where agents hang their license so they can start doing business. So I would highly suggest that you meet up with multiple brokers and ask a lot of discovery questions. Because if you didn't know, 87% of agents that get into this business fail the first year. So you don't wanna be one of those agents. And one of the best ways to prevent that is getting involved with a brokerage that has a lot of training and a lot of mentorship for brand new agents just starting out. Some of the questions I would ask is what kind of mentorship program and what kind of training program do you have in place? What kind of splits and what kind of benefits would I get as a new agent coming to your brokerage? And last but not least, how do you plan to help me market my business to attract new clients? These are all important questions to ask. And depending on how, how you wanna grow your business or build your business, some brokers might be a good fit for you and others may not. Now, if you are interested in learning more about Real Brokerage, I am at Real Brokerage. There's some amazing benefits to it. So be sure to schedule a call with me down below and I can explain all that to you and answer any questions that you have. But regardless, there are so many good brokerages out there and so many good options. You just have to do your research as a new agent and make sure you pick the right one. Once you complete all these steps, you will be a fully licensed real estate agent ready to go on and build your business. If you wanna learn more about growing your business, I have over 400 videos on this channel explaining all the steps that I used to build my business over the past eight years and eventually grow a multi-million dollar producing real estate team. So be sure to check those out. And if you like this video, smash the like button and let me know in the comment section below. I hope to hear from you soon.